I want to show you something different today. But before before I before we start, I want to introduce someone to you, someone special. This guy back here, this little plant. His name is Shrek. He's been with me for three years now, I think, and he's my favorite because he hasn't died on me. <laughs> so in my apartment, I have all of these uh, little vignettes and corners here and there uh, as decorations and I feel like they're a little bit on the quirky side and I thought I'd share them you know so today will be a little tour of my quirky apartment decorations so let's check them out all right so let's start with these little dudes right above my bed I'm not sure if they're making new episodes still, but I used to be such a big fan of the show South Park. And these are my South Park friends. So right over here we have Eric Cartman. Then we have Stan Marsh. Then we have Kyle Broflovsky. And of course, we have Kenny McCormick right there. So these are the ones, these are the guys that watch over me when I sleep. <laughs> and right over here I have this uh, flower pot that, um, so I don't really have a lot of these, of these kinds of things and I didn't really want to spend money on getting some. So I found this, um, this was actually a water bottle and I'm not using it anymore but I, I like how black it is and how you know there's like shiny portions over here and then there's a matte portion here so I thought hey that that's gonna work so I just put some you know some of these uh, in it just turn it around so you can't see uh, that little branding over here so now it works now I have a little flower uh, thing on there. It's actually a character in, in one, of, uh, one of the musicals that I've seen called Dear Evan Hansen. And if you're familiar with that, you will totally know what that's all about. That looks pretty, pretty simple, but it looks nice, right? I think it looks nice. And over here, I have a Japanese samurai doll that one of my coworkers uh, got for me uh, from a when she went on a trip to Japan. I really like the colors, so I kept it. I've had this for, for a few years now, so thank you, coworker, for giving this to me. <laughs> and there's some seashells over there, which I thought was just, you know, just because. <laughs> I have this small shelf over here on one of my walls and I have a little bit of many tiny things over here. Uh, I've got that clock right there and next to it we have this uh, small music box kind of thing. Actually you, know, you wind it up and it plays a song for you. And next to it I have this guy right here, uh, Trivia. This one's actually my favorite cartoon character. So Winnie the Pooh, Pooh Bear, if you know him. And this was actually handmade. Uh, someone actually, uh, what do you call it? Sculpted this, this thing out of clay. But one, day, one time when I was cleaning, um, this thing fell over. So Pooh Bear's missing an ear right there. <laughs> Sorry, Pooh Bear. And next to him is a small milk bottle looking vase. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, so I just put some water in there and just put some twigs. <laughs> Quirky, but I like it. <laughs> and over here we've got these two little guys just chilling there sitting right on top of these mirror on the wall and so it's a frog and a fish this one's got a pretty special meaning 
Um, I'll share it with you guys at some point, promise. <laughs> but yeah, they're just chilling right there. And of course, you've seen my tree and one of my other vids. And yep, pretty big, right? <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, fix that. <laughs> This one you probably might have already seen in the other videos, but I have this small statement on my wall uh, right by the front door. So there's the door. So as soon as you walk in, uh, you'll see that there. Or if you blink and, and you don't look close or hard enough, you'll probably miss it. But it's just a small statement that I think says a lot. Uh, if I go closer, it'll say, Find big things in small spaces. And it's, it, what was it, what do you call this? Like a vinyl sticker that I just found online. And it was, this is how I, how small I wanted it to be. So I didn't want it to be like super obnoxious in your face. So it's just there, just chilling. <laughs> but I don't live in such a big, big place. And you know, I found that even if you, you live in a small space, there's so many things that you can do to make your, your space more interesting, right? <laughs> so, I think the small statement packs a punch. <laughs> and another teeny tiny thing, I have this small fake plant in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, I thought it I thought it was pretty cute when I saw it. It was it had this um concrete looking pot that I think looked really cool and matched pretty much everything else in my apartment. So what's wrong with my lights? Yeah, but uh I'm not very good at keeping plants alive, so fake plants are the way to go for me, so this one's not gonna die. On one corner of my bathroom, uh, I have this plant that I put on here. To be honest, I just didn't have anywhere else to put this plant. And I thought, you know, hey, there's space over here. Might as well put it in here. Um, and again, it's a fake plant because for reasons I've stated before, uh, I don't have a green thumb. I tend, I'm pretty notorious when it comes to like killing plants, so. <laughs> And someone actually gave me this white um, white bucket that actually was a perfect size for this, for this plant. So I used it as a planter and I think it works. And another plant over here. This one's um, a little bit bigger. Uh, yeah. So cool story. Um, I was taking out the trash one day and I saw this uh, square a thing. I think this was the um, like the base of a, of a small side table before and someone just threw it out. They didn't need it I guess. But I saw it and I took it and I'm like hey I can make I can use this for something and sure enough I put it right here. I thought it, looked, it made the plant look pretty cool. I thought it made it look like it's a it's a plant like at a park. So right there. And I put a spotlight behind this, so at night, this is what it looks like. I have this white um, cup looking thing that I'm using as decor. This is actually, um, I think this was at, um, I got this from a bake shop and it was actually filled with, um, I think flan or custard <laughs> at one point. And after I ate it, I said, wow, this actually looks pretty cool. It's actually made out of, I think it's clay. So it's like a real pot. And I cleaned it up, put, um, put some chopsticks in there and voila, cool little decor. So it's now sitting right next to this book. Uh, that I got from a really good friend many years ago, and this is actually a recipe book. <laughs> I 
I haven't tried any of the recipes in there, but I don't know, maybe one day. And since I live in a, in a small space, um, I don't really have a lot of storage. So a lot of the things that I have here, I try to, you know, you really have to get creative when it comes to um, putting or finding a spot for things. So I have these two big books about musicals and theater that uh, someone gave me for, for Christmas. And I didn't have any more room <laughs> for it. So I put it under the bed. And, you know, I mean, there's a lot of stuff under there too. I'm hiding things, so pardon the dust. <laughs> But when you're standing up, you actually don't see anything else but that. And I thought it looks pretty cool sitting there under the bed, you know, with a candle. So I thought, so I thought that was a pretty good spot for it. <laughs> and then I saw this uh, small pot. It's actually um, made out of cement, this spot um, at a plant store. And I thought it looked really cool. It's supposed to be for a plant, but you know I'm using it as a as a pen holder. And I thought it matches a lot of um, a lot of the aesthetics in my apartment, since you know I have concrete floors, so I have a concrete little pencil holder, and it actually matches that other pot right down there. <laughs> yup, I do. <laughs> and look. My post-its um, sit on a pallet, <laughs> this small pallet thing. I actually have two, this one's, I'm all out, so this is another one. But I thought this was really cool and I saw this, you know, post-it sits on, on a pallet. <laughs> and it's actually made of real wood. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was pretty cute. And there you have it. These are some of the quirky things that you can find in my apartment. 